Things are going from bad to worse in South Africa. Officials now say that more than 250 people have been killed in flooding in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. That's along the country's east coast. This area has been absolutely pounded by heavy rain. There are some spots that have seen a month's worth of rainfall in just one day. Um, just this huge amount of rain has caused flooding that swept away homes, bridges, and people. The rain triggered mudslides that have trapped people under buildings. Rescue crews are now wading through mud and debris, just searching for any survivors. Now, power stations and water treatment plants have been inundated. Hundreds of cell towers are down, and officials are calling it one of the worst weather storms in the history of our country. Deadly storm Agaton hits Philippines with heavy rain, strong winds and landslides on Sunday, April 10, 2022. Agaton is the first storm to hit the country this year, which sees around 20 such storms annually. The storm made landfall with sustained winds of up to 65 km per hour and gusts of up to 80 km per hour. Authorities said Monday that at least 25 people had died in landslides. The eastern province of Lake. So far, 22 bodies were recovered after being buried under a landslide. German holiday, police chief of Bebe City, told reporters. The National Disaster Agency, which has also said three people had died in the southern Davao region, said the reported casualties are still subject to verification. Five people have died in devastating flooding along the eastern coast of South Africa. Between 10 and 13 inches of rain fell in a 24-hour period up to Tuesday morning. That is three to four times the amount of average rain the area usually sees in a month. Floodwaters inundated the city's port, which is the busiest in sub-Saharan Africa. Huge shipping containers like these were carried away and left in a tangled pile. The floods also brought landslides, which destroyed homes, covering them with mud and debris. More rain is expected later this week.